Hello, everyone. This is going to be your June 2024 reading. Let's go ahead and find out what's in store for you guys. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective. Let's see. What are the energies or what's in store for you for this month of June? Four of Wands. Four of Swords. Wow, Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay. The moon. The chariot. And you have six of wands. Alrighty, bottom of the deck, you have two of swords, which is crazy because, yeah, it's like cherry on top because of what I'm seeing on the cards, and it's very, very straightforward from spirit. I noticed based on the cards that we pulled up, there's something around confusion, all right? And so to see this two of swords, and it's talking about confusion as well, in which somebody is having a hard time seeing things clearly. Somebody is unable to make a decision as well, all right? Or somebody has been, you know, kind of like spending so much time over analyzing a particular situation. And well, yeah, you got the nine of swords card over here. And Nine of Swords is talking about the same thing, right? Whether this is some of you guys spending so much time um, worrying, overthinking, like what I said, overanalyzing a situation. And some of you might be having some sleepless nights as well. And so the message for you guys, especially for this month of June, whatever this is that is that's basically kind of like causing you a lot of stress or worry or anxiety or anything that has been confusing you because you got the moon card and the moon card is also talking about confusion or things are hidden from you or you're having a hard time seeing things clearly, just like what I said earlier, right? So whatever this is for you, whether it's actually talking about your personal relationship or your career or whatsoever, spirit is advising the collective to refocus your thoughts because this can also affect your overall well-being. Okay. Remember, you got the four of swords and four of swords is talking about rest, right? Taking a break, take a rest, take a breather, get more sleep. There's something about sleep here, which is crazy because, again, like what I said, Nine of Swords is all about sleepless nights, right? And now the message for the collective is to make sure that they also try to prioritize their sleep, okay? Most especially for those who are resonating with, yeah, you're having a hard time, you know, sleeping because you're always overthinking or you're always spending so much time over analyzing a situation. And again, always remember that worry doesn't change anything. Okay. It can even make things worse for you. So again, the guys are saying, or your guys are saying, refocus your thoughts, take a breather. All right. Free yourself from any mental exhaustion, okay? And yeah, there's really something around decision-making here. There's a lot of cards here around decision, okay? Especially got the chariot card as well. So I'm really getting here that somebody watching this collective reading, and I feel this is related to what's giving you a lot of stress. Because like what I said, with this Two of Swords card, that's also talking about a person who's unwilling or is unable to make a decision, okay? 
So if you're resonating with that, like what I said, your guides are saying, don't be so hard on yourself. Refocus your thoughts. Try to ground. Look at this lady meditating, okay? Remember that meditations brings clear answers as well, all right? Because when you're not grounded, it will be hard for you to focus. It will be hard for you to get some downloads, even if you're trying to seek for some guidance from your own spiritual team or from the angels, it will be hard for you because of there's a lot of, you know, thoughts swimming around your head. And so you're struggling in terms of focusing, right? So that's the advice for some of you. And at the same time, you're being advised as well to listen to your intuition, especially for those who are struggling in making a decision, okay? Also, there's something around balance. This is a month in which the collective is being encouraged to exercise balance in all areas of their life. For instance, since we're seeing a lot of, yeah, stress cards here, sleepless nights, or somebody's been working so hard, make sure that you take a break, okay? Create balance. Maybe you've been spending so much time putting your focus on the things that would stress you out, all right? Make sure that you try to balance work as well as play. Because remember, Four of Wands is all about celebration as well, okay? And lastly, I'm getting here that for the month of June, well, yeah, whatever it is that this is kind of like giving you a lot of stress anyway, let's go back to that first, you're going to be able to find a solution to this. Maybe that's why your guides or your spiritual team is encouraging for you to make sure that you try to trust your intuition or your gut instincts and you try to meditate or to ground first, okay? Okay. Because this is going to be very, very helpful for you instead of overanalyzing it. But yes, I see you guys being able to um, move forward from this or to overcome this particular issue or anything that is stressing you out. I'm also getting here as well that you guys are also going to be able to make the right decision or a wise decision. Okay. And that is great news as well. For others of you, I'm also seeing here that, yeah, there is some sort of like a promotion going on. Maybe that's why you got the Four of Wands, which is a celebration card. So either some of you guys will be promoted this month of June, or you would be receiving some positive news around your career, which will definitely make you so happy, okay? What is also just basically recognition, okay? Whether you will be recognized for your contribution at work or what, or any awards. If you're still studying, I'm also seeing some really, really positive um, things happening for you um, around your studies. Maybe that's why there's a lot of stress for you, all right? But all of your hard work, I tell you, it's going to be bearing good fruits here, okay? So if you're still studying, like what I said, there are definitely some great news happening for you around your studies or around um, what you're actually um, putting your focus on right now, whether studies or work or career. All right, let's try to pull it more. What are the energies or what's in store for the collective this month of June? Love, ooh, okay. Okay, what is this? Bless, oh my gosh, wow. Wow, 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 alrighty. Okay. Now this one is very, very straightforward from Spirit. And here's what I'm hearing based on these four cards. I see some of you guys healing, okay? Healing from any heartbreak, whether it's actually related to a love interest, a past person. But yeah, for the month of June, the message for the collective is to make sure that you allow yourself to heal from the situation and to see the blessing. From that situation that you have experienced, okay? 
Do not put your focus more on the hurt because every experience, it holds lessons, whether it's actually good or bad. So this is the advice for the collective. Make sure that you allow yourself to heal, all right, with the image of the rain because rain is all about cleansing and healing, right? See the blessing from every particular situation or any situation that you have been going through and make sure that you continue to move forward. That's also the advice for the collective. Whether this is love-related, okay, or anything that has probably given you a lot of, you know, heartbreak or, you know, feelings of sadness. Maybe that's why I'm really seeing here healing is happening for you guys or you're being encouraged to heal from it and just move forward and to see the blessings from that particular situation. All right, let's see. What else? What are the energies or what's in store for the collective this month of June? Okay, you got step out of your comfort zone. So this is another advice for the collective. I feel this is related to the uh, message that I picked up earlier from Spirit in which some of you guys, you are having a hard time making a decision or you are unwilling to make a decision and that's because of you're afraid, all right? So your guys are saying, let go of any fears that you may have. Step outside of your comfort zone. Be confident, especially with this image of the sunflower, all right? Because the sunflower is somebody, all right, or the energy of the sunflower is that it's teaching us to stand tall and proud, even if things are really, you know, um, difficult or challenging, right? And so, yeah, this is also the advice for the collective. And I notice there's a lot of color yellows as well. So, solar plexus chakra which is all about creativity as well, motivation, determination, willpower, as well as confidence. So for some of you guys, this is also the advice for you from your spiritual team that you should, you know, release or let go any of your fears and just step outside of your comfort zone, especially if you're thinking about pursuing something, something new, all right? Something that your inner voice has been telling you to do, all right? Take a risk, take a chance. But it doesn't mean as well that you're just going to be making a decision right away. Yes, you're still being advised to review your options carefully or to review the situation carefully before making a decision. But for a lot of you, this is a month in which you guys are being encouraged to step outside of your comfort zone. Okay, what else? What are the energies or what's in store for the collective? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, man holding a heart. All right. Okay. Two cards go within. Are you freaking, you saw me shuffle. I can't make that up. This is crazy. What did I tell you at the very start of the reading? At the very start of the reading, for those who are resonating with, maybe this is already playing out for you. You're feeling confused. You can't make up your mind. You're unable to make a decision. And that's why you've been overthinking about the situation over and over again. Your guys are saying go within. With this man holding a heart, this is another confirmation from Spirit that they wanted you guys to follow your heart. Okay? Let me read this. It says, you are a very intuitive person. And there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside of you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. I just said that. Be patient with yourself. Are you freaking kidding me? What the freak, man? Well, I love this reading. See, I told you guys, for this month of June, a lot of you guys are being encouraged to Trust your gut instincts. Go back to what I said at the very start. Trust your intuition, especially for those who are resonating with you're having a hard time deciding. You can't make up your mind. You're feeling less confident about what to do, all right, where you cannot trust your own decision. So your guys are saying go within. Trust 
your own intuition. That's your gift. You know what? That's why I always say that everybody is a psychic because everybody is blessed with intuition. The problem is people do not trust or not all people trust their own intuition. They doubt themselves, all right? So maybe that's why guys are saying go within because you are a very intuitive person. And it says here too, it is time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. You got this card. What is this lady doing? She is meditating. Okay, I even said earlier, meditation brings clear answers, right? In the traditional tarot, it also shows a guy praying. So it says here, through meditation or prayer, this is a time for the collective to quiet their mind, all right? This is a time for the collective to take a breather, all right? Tune out from the noise of the outside world and go within, okay? And also, I just said earlier that it doesn't mean that you need to rush. My gosh, go back to what I just said. You don't need to rush. Of course, you still needed to reassess the situation carefully or this decision that you need to make. But it's not to say that you're going to be so hasty in making a decision. And yes, it says here, there's no need to take action right now. Just be patient with yourself. I love this reading. Oh my gosh. All right. What else? You have another message. Helper of thought. And it says, your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be in, on hold suddenly require all of your attention. There is no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best as you can. All right. So for others of you, this is a different message. I'm picking up that for the month of June, things are just kind of like, yeah, moving uh, for you, especially if you've been uh, in a period of stagnation. And that is actually the reason why you have a lot of movement cards. Now it's making sense because Six of Wands is also talking about movement forward, right? Chariot is also talking about movement. So yeah, for some of you guys, um, if you've been um, in a situation in the recent past where everything was put on hold or things are kind of like a little bit stagnant or stuck for you, things are finally going to be moving a bit fast, all right? For others of you, again, before you make a decision, you are being encouraged to review the details as best as you can as well, all right? So anyway, let's move on to the next set of cards. What else? What are the energies or what's in store for the collective this month of June? And by the way, this is actually fluorite, okay? Purple fluorite with yellow. This is also a fluorite tower. I'm also wearing fluorite. Okay, I love fluorite so much. And so for those who are also resonating with, you're having a hard time thinking straight or focusing, okay? Because the main message for you earlier from your spiritual team as well is to make sure that you try to refocus your thoughts. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. Because Two of Swords is also talking about distraction. And that is your overall energy. So this is a crystal that you can also work with. All right. Try to work with fluorite. It also helps in turning any negative energy towards the positive. If you're still studying, my gosh, work with fluorite. It's good for focus or concentration. Maybe that's why I kind of like wanted to use this crystal. Um, for this reading, okay? Anyway, you got the Empress card over here. Let's pull it more. Ooh, look at that. Female power. Whoa, look at that. Queen of the Moon and the Empress. And then behind a mask, I wanted to pull up one more. 
and then coming apart. Alrighty. So based on these four cards, I'm really getting this very strong divine feminine power here, all right? The divine feminine is, again, very soft and gentle, nurturing, just like the empress. But she's also very strong, okay? So regardless whether you're male or female um, watching this collective reading, it doesn't matter. What this basically means is that this month of June, you have to own back your power. All right. You have to realize that you are in control of your destiny. You do have the power to make some positive changes in your life. All right. You do have the power to um, shift your thoughts even or to be able to turn your dreams into reality. So I feel that this is also the advice. Some of you, this is what you're going to be feeling. You're feeling empowered. You're feeling as if that, yeah, I'm realizing my true power to make things happen, all right? And I see you guys putting your focus there. Others of you, I'm also hearing very strongly that, yeah, you would be realizing that there is no point in allowing yourself to be stuck in a situation where you are not growing. Some of you guys are going to be realizing as well, why am I staying in a connection, especially if this is all about relationships or what, whether it's friendship or romantic partnerships, why am I staying in this partnership where it's basically just giving me a lot of feelings of sadness and loneliness, all right? And so I see you guys painting a different picture for yourself because again, you're reali realizing your true power, all right? For some of you, I'll be very honest because you're taking your own power back. I see you guys finally walking away from false situations because I'm drawn to this person wearing a mask. False situations or maybe even, you know, false people, all right? I'm getting here that, yeah, you are really kind of like going back here to your own self, all right? And you're realizing that, hey, you know what? I shouldn't allow myself to be in this kind of situation. If I don't like the situation, I do have the power to shift it. I do have the power to walk away from any situations that's just really making me feel down. And it's not helping me to grow. And that's why I said earlier, this is really, really beautiful with the Empress card as well as the Queen of the Moon card, which is really suggesting to me that you guys are feeling a lot more empowered. You're realizing your true power to take charge of a situation or, again, to paint a new picture for yourself. Instead of seeing yourself as if that you're a victim, I can't do anything, there's also something about that. And maybe that's why I got behind a mask as well. You're realizing that this is not who you are. All right. You're embracing as well your true self. You're connecting more with your divine self. I'm also hearing that right now. For the month of June, some of you guys are also going to be doing that. Okay. You wanted to tap into your higher self more. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing that right now. There's something about tapping into your um, or wanting to be in alignment with your higher self as well. And yes, if you're resonating with that and this is something that you have been thinking of doing, maybe that's why there's a lot of meditation cards earlier, all right? Because in order for you to tap into your divine self or higher self, um, you really do have to clear out any noise or to tune out from the noises of the world, clear out any confusion. And you can do so by grounding or through meditation. This is going to help you to connect more with your divine self as well. And that's what I'm hearing. Now, with this coming apart, this is actually you and your higher self. So somebody watching this collective reading is thinking of, yeah, wanting to reconnect or wanting to be in alignment with their true self, their higher self, their divine self. Okay? Wow. All right. Let's see. Let's move on to the next set of cards now. Okay. You got the love card. Next. 
Well, this is Gemini and June is Gemini season. Okay. So happy birthday to all Geminis out there, by the way. You may also want to work with crystals, although we are going to be pulling up um, the crystals that you can work with for the month of June. But if this is your birth month as well, which is June, you may actually want to, yeah, work with Moonstone. Because there are three birthstones, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, for the month of June. Um, that includes Pearl. Um, what else? I forgot the other one. Yeah, but I, I could clearly remember it's Pearl and Moonstone. Okay? So, yeah, work with those stones. And Alexandrite, there you go. Yeah, that's the birth uh, or the stones or the birth stones for the month of June. So, yeah. And, oh, my gosh, look at that. Number six, June, right? Sixth month of the year. Anyway, <laughs> let's pull it more. Oh, yes. Look at that shining through. Ooh, you got the echoes. Oh, my gosh. I just said this earlier. Let me start off with this one. Because this is a confirmation from Spirit that for the month of June, this is a month in which, yeah, instead of, you know, allowing yourself to be stressed out or to feel overwhelmed, why not spend majority of your time, especially if you're always trying to over worry or over stress yourself, why not spend some time taking a break, all right, going within and try to reconnect with your true self. I see some of you guys doing that, all right? Because like what I said earlier, overstressing or overanalyzing a situation or worrying too much will not help you at all. It can even make things worse, all right? So instead, try to shift it. Try to do things the other way around. I'm going to take a step back, all right? I'm going to go within. I'm going to quiet my mind and I'll be open to listen to my own inner voice, which is part of your true self or divine self. Okay. Especially for those who are struggling again in terms of making a decision because lover's card is also talking about choices and decision. Okay. So yeah. And I see some of you guys. Yeah. Things would make sense, especially with a shining through. Like something is going to be revealed. I keep on hearing that with this flower blossoming. Okay. But this is also you. The collective is again being encouraged to tap into your um, true nature. All right. Follow your own intuition. And at the same time to embrace who you truly are. To see yourself differently. I'm also getting that. To allow yourself to shine even instead of dimming your own light. Because I'm getting there's something about confidence. Remember, I even pointed out that there's a lot of yellows earlier with the first row of cards that we actually pulled up. So yeah, because you got the sex card over here. Now, the sex card is not necessarily about sex, but this is also talking about lack. Like some of you guys are actually kind of like um, feeling disappointed or frustrated because your needs are not being met. Something is missing, okay? Whether it's actually around love and romance, you're feeling sad, you're longing to be in a loving relationship, or you wanted to be around this person, or something like what I said is not making you feel satisfied, all right? Others of you, you're feeling a bit disconnected, like yeah, you feel alone. You feel isolated. I'm also hearing that very strongly. And so if you're resonating with that, um, I feel as well that you may want to work with Bismuth. Okay, that's another um, um, crystal that you can work with. 
especially if you're feeling lonely or disconnected. And I'm going to be using that as options. Yeah, that's a great idea because I'm hearing that with the sex card as well. All right. Especially if you're feeling as if that you're disconnected from the rest of the world or you're feeling lonely, you feel isolated or withdrawn and all that. Yeah, you may also want to work with Best Smooth, by the way. But yeah, I see you guys, you know, kind of like feeling that maybe for the month of June. But again, try to step away from that. Okay, don't put your focus on what you don't have or what's lacking in your life. Because that's really going to be making you feel upset even more. All right? That's going to be lowering down your vibration. Instead, Spirit is saying, put your focus on your achievements or your own true beauty or how can you actually try to improve it? That's also what I'm hearing. And again, for those who are resonating with decision making, go within. Trust your own intuition. I feel that you're also going to be getting the help of your ancestors as well. All right. So that's why you're being encouraged to meditate um, for those who are still feeling confused about what they should be doing. Okay. Or about this decision that has been bothering them. All right, what else? Let's get another set of cards. What are the energies or what's in store for you guys for the month of June? Okay, yeah, I was just talking about loneliness. Oh, my gosh. Now we got the orphan card. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Crazy synchronicity. I, I can't make that up. You saw me shuffle. And that's what I said when I saw the sex card. So somebody who's been watching this collective reading, maybe you're feeling as if that you're disconnected even to yourself, all right? So again, the advice for you from spirit is to refocus your thoughts, all right? Instead, meditate, ground, all right? This is going to help you to realign your energies again so you can take back your own power. So you can actually shift your consciousness. Don't see yourself as if you're a victim. That I'm lonely. You know, why am I like this? All right. I don't have this love of my life. Or again, there's something about lack energy here. All right. So make sure you step away from that. Because that's more of what you're going to be attracting. Believe me. I know it's easier said than done. But there's no other way. Right. Remember. The law of attraction, whatever it is that you've been thinking. And maybe that's why I got the queen of the moon. This is you taking charge of your situation, taking control of your life, all right? Um, having the power to choose what's right for you and all that. So I'm really getting here that there is a strong message for the collective to refocus their thoughts and to walk away from anything that's really just going to be making you feel small, all right? Which is why I said earlier when I saw this flower, don't dim your light, all right? Don't dim your light. Allow yourself to shine because I'm getting a very low, bleak energy over here where whether this is actually happening already um, for some of you. And so for the month of June, it's about time, all right, to turn things around. Gosh, another six. And you got a lot of cards around love. All right. So maybe for some of you guys, like what I said earlier, because you got the love card and the purification card. So somebody watching this collective reading, whether you felt so lonely, you felt really heartbroken because of either things didn't work out between you and this person that you really like. All right. Or some of you actually broke up, whatever it is. Okay. Because I'm getting that very strongly based on the cards that we pulled up so far. So for the month of June, this is a month for you to heal. All right? Take a break. That's why I got the Four of Swords. Take a break. Don't put your focus so much on, you know, things that would only make you feel even more sad. Acknowledge those feelings, but don't allow that to eat you up. Okay? Instead, like what I said earlier, your spiritual team are saying, see the blessing. From every, you know, painful situation, there is beauty and blessing behind every turmoil, all right? And just continue to move forward as well. Well, it's a lot of healing. That's what I'm getting. Let's try to pull up another set of cards. 
what else? Oops, a lot of cards. What's in store for the collective for the month of June? Earth, yeah. It's about time to stay grounded, all right? Connect more with Mother Earth, all right? Wow, I love the synchronicity of this reading so much, all right? This is a time for the collective to ground, to spend so much time with nature. Or, yeah, you got the celestial, all right? Connecting more with earth spirits, angels, who's helping you as well in your situation. This is also a sign that they're sending you love and comfort, especially for those who are resonating with you're feeling so heartbroken, you're feeling alone, you're feeling sad. Know that you're getting the help and the support from your spiritual team, and that includes your spirit animals, right? Your ancestors, as well as the angels um, who are supporting you in your journey. All right. But this is also a message for the collective to spend more time in nature to ground. I noticed that kept on repeating so far um, based on the cards that we pulled up. OK, so let's pull up some tea leaf fortune cards now. What's in store for the collective for the month of June? OK. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, alrighty. Aww. Oh my gosh. Well, now it's making sense why I'm picking up a lot of sad energy. Or, again, you got the orphan card. You got the sex card in which somebody's feeling alone or isolated or what. Because I see here separation. It's a sad separation for others of you. Even got someone is leaving your life. Whether this is somebody's very close to you or dear to you. Okay? Even got the broken ring. And it says parting of the ways in either romance or business. So whatever this is, not for all of you though, all right? But I'm really sensing that in which some of you are, yeah, feeling really sad because of the separation or you're no longer with this person anymore, whether it's love related or whether it's just a person who's dear to you. Although I got family sorrow here, okay? So, yeah, again, maybe that's why there's a lot of um, cards around healing and you're getting the support and the help from your angels as well as your guides. They're helping you to heal from this really difficult um, situation. But don't you worry because it says here you will be taken care of in difficult times. And that's what I said, right? Well, others of you... What I'm actually getting is that not necessarily it's something really heavy or it's really something that is so, yeah, so huge or big. Maybe you're just feeling stressed out or you're feeling really um, anxious recently or what, or you're feeling overwhelmed. Again, like what I said at the very start of the reading, this is a time for you to take a step back. Put your focus on what's going to be um, charging you up or what lights you up or what is going to be uplifting your energy because it says here lighthearted, carefree time. So, yeah, you are being encouraged to put your focus more on what's going to be raising your vibration, whatever it is that's going to be making you so happy. All right, let's pull up some career cards, or anything related to finances. Yeah, expect some positive changes for some of you. Whether this is you initiating that, 
Because remember, he got the Queen of the Moon and said sovereignty. In which this is helping the collective or for you to realize that you do have the power to take charge of your own situation or your own destiny. Okay? But yeah, there's definitely going to be some changes happening for you this month of June. Some of you guys, yeah, there's something about insurance here, all right? So whether this is also related to, uh, for those who are resonating with, um, you are um, investing some money or what, whether it's car insurance or what, oh my gosh, then you got unemployment, need a job. Okay, now it's making sense. So for some of you, and it's weird, I'm suddenly having a hard time talking. Like my throat chakra is really itchy or something. So I don't know. Yeah, there's something about the throat, which is weird. Um, but maybe, yeah, somebody watching this collective reading, you're trying to repress your feelings or emotions. Maybe that's why there's a lot of cards around heart chakra too. Maybe you're feeling disappointed or sad about something, but you can't just let it all out, right? I don't know. I feel like saying that because all of a sudden, it's like there's something stuck in my throat and I'm having a hard time talking. So maybe that's what's happening for others of you. In which, because you're actually feeling disappointed about something, you're feeling sad, you're feeling lost, um, maybe you're having a hard time getting that out or expressing those feelings safely, all right? But anyway, going back, um, there's something about insurance for sure, right? Whether this is something that you have been doing or you're thinking of doing, Others of you, you got the unemployment card, which makes sense. Because like what I said earlier, you got a message that says parting of the ways, either in romance, whether there's actually a separation between you and a particular person, or whether this is also you losing your job, all right? Hmm. And that's part of the changes as well. But don't you worry, again, you're getting the support or the help, all right? from your spiritual team or instruments that the universe will be using to help you in your situation as well. So yeah, let's try to pull up um, this fortune card. What else? What's in store for the month of June for the collective? Oh my gosh, because you got new beginnings. Yeah, so whether this is part of the changes, either you are being led towards a different direction as well, because remember, you got the going forward card, especially for those who just lost their job because you got the unemployment over here. But let's read the new beginnings card. Let's go to page one. Okay. Fresh starts and fresh opportunities. This symbol represents new beginnings in every part of your life, personal, social, and professional. Opportunities can be welcomed now at, as this is the time for change and renewal. Oh my gosh, that's why I got the change card. Recently, you've had a period where nothing really felt stable. And you may have felt emotional or vulnerable. Exactly, right? You were just talking about that. You may have just completed a time of endings. And now is the time to look for that, which will replace what you have lost. The loss may have felt painful. So again, like what I said, whether it's actually losing a loved one or whether it's actually you losing your job because you got the unemployment card or um, you close your business, whatever, okay? So it says here, the loss may have felt painful. However, it was a time of clearing to make way for the new experiences and opportunities that now await. Now it makes sense, right? What did I say with this purification card? 
This purification card is all about healing and cleansing. And rain, I know we can't see it that much, but there's rain. So rain is also talking about the same. Rain is all about cleansing. And so it makes sense based on what it says here, right? It is a time of clearing to make way for the new experiences and opportunities that now await. Emotionally, you will feel refreshed with a new determination to succeed. You can take on the world and may feel like you've been reborn in some way as a person. And that's it. That's why you got the Empress card as well as the Queen of the Moon card in which you're feeling empowered. I just said that earlier, right? Oh my gosh. So be prepared, it says here, for plenty of changes to happen in your life. If you want to embrace the new things that you that will actually appear in your life, yeah, allow it to happen. That's the advice for you, okay? Allow it to happen. Now, for others of you, this is all about career or finances. It says here, this card indicates that taking risk will pay off. What did I say earlier? You got this card. Step out of your comfort zone, you guys, right? So everything that we've talked about earlier is now appearing in the cards that we're pulling up right now. Crazy. And then ask for that pay rise or go after that new business or job. Speak up about what is important to you as the universe is now ready to answer your wishes. Maybe that's why I'm having some sort of like discomfort in my throat chakra. Somebody's been trying to repress their feelings, all right, keeping it to themselves. So yeah, speak up, clear out your throat chakra by clearing out as well your heart chakra blockage because it's usually connected. Because remember, the throat chakra is the chimney of the heart. Maybe you're a bit close off emotionally, all right? So I suggest that if you're resonating with that, clear out any blockages in your heart chakra and then your throat chakra too. All right, it says here, make sure you are clear about what you want and don't waste this opportunity by asking for things that won't really bring you satisfaction. Mm. Oh my gosh, maybe that's why. Yeah, I said investment earlier. So it says here, this is also a perfect time to invest or to purchase real estate for others of you. Okay, wow, that's nice. And if it's all about relationship, this is a time for a makeover, all right? Take some time to focus on who you really wanted to be, all right? Emerge. It's a great time for you guys to emerge as a butterfly. Well, yeah, you have this butterfly over here, right? So take some time or a great time to emerge as a butterfly, especially if you've been feeling a little unhappy with your current situation or even your looks. Oh my gosh. All righty. So for others of you, it says here too, hanging on to relationships which are not in your best interest will result in difficulty within the relationship and may also create ill health. So maybe this is also the time for you guys, like what I said at the very start, to heal, cleanse, you know, um, from the pain or anything that has left you feeling sad or heartbroken. Allow yourself to heal and see the blessing from that situation, uh, from that painful situation, and just keep on moving forward, all right? Hmm. Okay, so a lot of changes. That's basically what I'm picking up here based on this fortune card. A lot of you guys are being encouraged to head towards a new direction since you got the new beginnings card too. Or be prepared for some plenty um, changes to happen in your life this month of June. Alrighty. So before we actually end this reading, let me actually pull up some messages for you. And then, of course, we are going to be pulling up um, your crystals for the month of June. Let's start off with messages. Any message for the collective? Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. All right. Well, you got the happiness card. So even though it's really difficult, especially if you've been feeling really sad because of um, 
your situation, whether it's the problem that has been bothering you or stressing you out, whether this is love related, work related, okay, or some of you, you may have lost someone and it's really understandable that you will be really feeling sad and heartbroken about that. But for others of you, you're being encouraged, like what I said, to be more open, to allow joy um, to enter your life, all right? Embrace joy and happiness. It's only natural to feel sad. We all feel and experience that. But always remember that emotions are only visitors. Allow that to visit you and then lovingly surrender it, okay? Maybe that's why I got the going forward card. Don't allow that emotion to eat you up. I just said that earlier as well. Okay, let's get another message. Next, you have, if you're worried, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? There's a lot of cards around worries. Okay, if you are worried, you don't have the strength to move on. Think of how much strength you are using to hold on. Then redirect that energy and enjoy your life. Bingo. You know what? This reading is packed with so much synchronicity. It's creepy, you know, but really beautiful. We were just talking about that. And they even pointed out the going forward card. Because I'm really picking up somebody watching this collective reading. And it's, again, only understandable to feel really hurt over losing someone, okay? Or you're no longer with this person. Remember, you got the coming apart card. So there's something about separation or being separated from this person who's very close to you. And even though you're trying to move on, maybe some of you guys are still struggling with it. You really don't know how, all right? Of course, you need to be patient with yourself. You don't have to force yourself. Sometimes it would take a while or it would take some time, right? Ask your angels. Ask your spiritual team to help you to move forward, all right? To help you to heal from the situation naturally and move forward. But like what it says here, if you are worried, you don't have the strength to move on. This is a really great advice. Think of how much strength or so much power, basically, that you're using and giving to hold on to that particular situation. Then it says, redirect that energy and enjoy your life. Allow joy, happiness to enter your life, my dears. Okay? Well, I forgot to pull up the affirmation. Because usually we pull up um, affirmations. Let me do that. Hold up. Let me just get it real quick. Hold up, you guys. Let me just grab it real quick. Yeah, I forgot that. Mm -mm. There you go. Alrighty. Let's actually pull up an affirmation that you can also work with. And then, before we end the reading, as usual, we'll pull up some crystal cards for you. All right. Affirmation for the collective, please, spirit. Ooh, physical health, it says here. Hmm, interesting. Maybe that's why I got the four of swords. So it says here, I keep sacred the daily habits that make me feel good and allow myself to vibrate at their highest potential. What the freak? You got joy and delight. You got the happiness card. You also got a message over here in which you are being encouraged to redirect your energy, to enjoy your life, to embrace joy and delight and happiness to enter, right? Now, it says here, I keep sacred the daily habits that make me feel good and allow myself to vibrate at their highest potential. And I was just talking about raising your vibration. Because I'm getting a lot of cards here that we pulled up in which, yeah, it's really bleak and low, all right? So redirect your focus. That's the message at the very start of the reading. Go back to what I said at the very start of the reading. You're being encouraged to refocus your thoughts, to redirect as well your energy, right, towards the positive. Because like what I said, it's not going to help anyway. It's only okay to allow that to 
to feel it, to allow yourself to feel that particular, you know, negative emotion because um, emotions are visitors, just like what I said earlier. So honor it, respect that emotion, whether it's you feeling frustrated, it's actually you feeling angry or sad because you are a human being, right? But then don't try to allow that emotion to eat you up, right? Afterwards, lovingly surrender it. Let it go, all right? Let it go because it's not going to help you. Don't allow yourself to be, yeah, wrapped up in so much negativity, all right, which is really going to be lowering down your frequency or your vibration. So, yeah, you are being encouraged to raise your vibration or to put your focus as well on anything that's going to be uplifting you. Okay, that will make you feel good and lighthearted. So you may actually want to work with this affirmation as well if this would help you. Now let's actually get some crystals or crystal cards. But then again, like what I said earlier, if your birth month is June, then yeah, I believe the birth month or, or rather the birthstone for the month of June or people who are born uh, for this month of June, it's Pearl Moonstone. And Moonstone is also for intuition, by the way. And it's also a stone of new beginnings, which is crazy. All right? So you may want to work with that. Alexandrite as well. For others of you, I would suggest fluorite. Okay? Because like what I said, fluorite will actually help you to focus, to concentrate more, especially if you're having a hard time thinking straight, you're feeling distracted. And it also helps to turn your space. If you have fluorite, it will turn that space into something positive. Okay. But let's see, let's try to pull up a crystal card for you as well. Crystal for the collective for the month of June, please. Spirit. Before we end this reading. Ooh. Cards are flying out. Hold up, you guys. There's a lot. There's a lot. And it's really hard to shuffle this because of its shape. Crystals for the month of June. For the collective. Ooh, there's a lot, really. So let's get that. Well, there's three. It's okay. Wow, beautiful. Is this kunzite? No, it's purple tourmaline. Okay, so it says purple tourmaline grounding. See? Oh, my gosh. What the freak, man? You were just talking about grounding at the very start of the reading, right? Grounding, protection, and serenity. So work with purple tourmaline, you guys. Let me read it for you. Purple tourmaline gets straight to the heart of the matter dispelling any negativity around core wounds, especially issues carried over from past lives. Purple tourmalin is a great protector and can create a shield between you and alien invasion, possession, and unwanted attachments. It removes illusions so you can easily see reality for what it is without any judgment. That is where serenity and peace lie when we are able to detach from external views. Ground yourself with love and trust that you're always protected. Okay? Might be a Libra as well. All right. Let's see. Next crystal you can work with. Lazulite. And it says cosmic serenity and peace. Oh, my gosh. I can't make this up. You keep on getting the keyword serenity or peace. Crazy. Let me read it. The cosmic forces are at play with lazulite, bringing serenity, peace, and tranquility to anyone who crosses paths with the stone. Lazulite comes from the Arabic word or Arabic word lazuard, meaning sky or heaven, and referring to the sky blue color of the stone surface. It stimulates the third eye, drawing out psychic and intuitive abilities and dispelling worry, anxiety, and stress, oh my gosh, to promote a clear state of mind. Use lazulite when you need extra strength to heal addictive habits and to give yourself that inner peace 
against personal demons. Good for Gemini and Sagittarius. Okay. All right. Last. Labradorite, which is my favorite. Oh, my gosh. It's also a great crystal for Scorpios out there. So it says transformation, magic, imagination. A stone of transition, Labradorite assists in times of change and transformation. And remember, there's plenty of changes for the month of June for a lot of you guys who's watching this collective reading, okay? So it says it expands our connection with the universe, unlocking the third eye and all the wonder that lies beyond the physical realm, as well as your magical powers. Labradorite evokes the magic we all have, reminding us to wield our power by going within and connecting to the core truths of who we are. Chase after your dreams and align yourself with a vibration of anything is possible. An energy Labradorite is all too familiar with. Again, it says it works well for Scorpios, Sagittarius, as well as Leo. All right. Well, you guys, I can't believe the synchron synchronicity of this entire reading. It's just mind-blowing. I love it. I really, really love it. So there you go. That's what I have for you for the month of June. I really wish you guys a really, really blessed month. And again, happy birthday to all um, Geminis out there celebrating um, their birthday this month of June. Okay? So, that's what I have for you. And also Cancer towards the end, right? So, Gemini Cancer. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this collective reading. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye, guys. Love and light.